This is some big news. Webull has just now added the volume profile indicator to their platform. Welcome on into the TC Trading Channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video will be super short to the point. Right now, we are looking at a Webull layout that I have created. We've got some videos already here on the channel going over how to create your layouts to look similar to this or just to customize them to your liking, but we are on the desktop platform. Make sure when you go to the setting symbol in the bottom left-hand corner of your platform and you go to the update or the check for update section right here, make sure you have the latest version installed. If you do not, go ahead and do so. Then come back to your layouts and now we can add indicators onto our charts, which is what we are all here to do. So. The volume profile has been something that I think a lot of people have been requesting as of late. It's a pretty popular indicator these days, and now Webull's got it. So up in the top left of your charting feature, there's an indicator option. I know it's super small. I'll do my best to highlight things, circle things, make it bigger so you guys can see. Go to the indicator section. They'll bring a little bar across the top of your screen. You'll have to then go to indicators and you'll have options to scroll down from, or if you go to edit indicators, it's a bigger place to kind of start. I would recommend this. I'm gonna to go to edit indicators here, and under the main chart, as you scroll down, you're looking for VP, okay? It stands for volume profile, VP, okay? Highlight that or check that box, okay? Now, I've already customized mine a bit. This might not say 30 when you start, the reason why I have it the way I have it is because when you adjust this row size, it makes the bars a, a different size, essentially, right? So if you want it to be smaller, then you'll have less bars on your screen. If you want it to be bigger, you'll have more bars on your screen. For me, I like 30 for the time frames I like to use. It works good for me. I'm fine with that. I have the value area set to 100. Then for style, here's where I can kind of change things up. Uh, I have this set to white. I have the value area set to white. I do not have the value area high and the value area low. I just got rid of those. I don't feel like I need those lines. And then I have this POC. That's the point of control, the volume point of control. That is the highest volume price point or price band on your chart indicated by this red line. I make it red just so it's easier to see uh, on my charts. And so that's this at the bottom of your screen right here. So the biggest bar from the time frame you're looking at will have that red line going right through it. And that's your volume point of control. Hopefully that makes some sense. Now you can read more about this. It's a pretty short little paragraph here. There's other types of uh, this indicator on like a trading view. There's more, I guess, advanced versions. But for the most part, for most people, this is a great, great start. And it's a great indicator to use. Now we'll cover a little bit more into kind of the use cases of it here. But ultimately, it's up to you as to how you want to use it if you want to use it. So that's what I've done. I'm going to click on done. Now it's up here uh, under VP. I can change the settings. I can click on this little eye eyeball and I can get rid of it. Uh, or I can go into this little setting symbol right here and open my settings up and, and edit them if I need to. So as I zoom the chart out, see how this automatically adjusts, which is kind of cool. You don't have to do anything. As I zoom my chart out, it's automatically going to find volume and pretty much draw the profile in on the right-hand side. Now, the thing is, at least as of now, which I would expect it will be updated in the future, you can't change the size of the indicator. So you can't make it smaller to the right-hand side so it doesn't take as much of your screen, which is kind of annoying kind of not a huge deal, but uh, that's something that you got to keep in mind right now, at least for now when we're filming the video, you can't change it from all I have seen, okay? So outside of this, if you hover over the volume bars on the right-hand side, it'll actually tell you the amount of volume, the amount of shares in this case traded at that price point. So for example, the volume point of control right here the past like couple days on Tesla, about 19.73 million shares were traded around this 178.25 area. Okay, now what we like to use this for and what you could use it for is if I zoom this guy out, for example, let's see if I can zoom this guy out, what you'll tend to see is that price tends to move quicker through lower volume zones. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. And Tesla seems like it's on a beeline down towards like the 150, even 140 zone, which is your next kind of volume shelf. And that's your volume point of control over the past time frame that I'm looking at. 
uh, on Tesla. So something to think about, something to keep in mind, uh, not a huge deal, but what you can see is that price tends to act or at least find support and resistance at high volume zones. And uh, it tends to move a little more like butter, almost in a sense, up and down through lower volume zones when there's momentum to the upside or downside. So keep that one in mind. Again, it's uh, I'm not sitting here trying to tell you how to trade this, but that is one of the use cases, uh, a way to utilize this indicator. Okay, hope that helps. Any links, resources are going to be linked up down below. Any questions, leave them in the comment section like always. And check out a bunch of other videos we have here on the channel already covering other questions you may have for Webull, other platforms, all that good stuff. Links, resources, this channel is all meant to help you for free. If you're not subscribed here, make sure to do so. Thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.